What is up guys, Brian here, and you'll never believe what I did. I bought a bunch of steam, and I powered it up. And I didn't expect to do that even a couple days ago, but I'm gonna tell you why. So, kind of previously, the steam back dollar had started to break away from the dollar peg. It's supposed to be pegged to the US dollar. And the steam back dollar is a debt against steam. Now, when this has happened in the past, we've usually you know, been in, in a bull market, and steam back dollar has not been able to keep the peg and it is like breaking away and it's broken away abnormally hard, especially in the 2017 boom and it went clear past $16. And it was nuts because when you said you got paid, let's say a dollar on a post, then it was really like you got paid $16. And so it was crazy because the numbers were getting high enough to where um, and let's just say when it was around ten dollars, just make numbers easy. That again, if it said you were making ten dollars on a post, which wasn't uncommon because of the amount of people that were on there, you get paid ten dollars on a post. But then really, that was really like getting paid a hundred dollars because you got paid in the steam back dollar. And um, kind of crazy how the mechanism worked and how that all kind of played out and everything. But it literally became sort of like a magic money machine you were just kind of being able to print money and we're all kind of looking for that in crypto uh, whether it's some sort of mechanism on the binance smart chain and you're in the liquidity pools or you're staking cake or you're staking uh you know something else or maybe you were in DeFi like on the ethereum chain you know so we're all looking for you know to grow to stack more coins and stuff like that, whether it's some sort of decentralized staking mechanism or um, it's some sort of blogging earnings or something else like that. So basically, um, you know, that was that was the play. And I, I kind of saw originally when it started to break away, I thought, you know, Steam will probably pump. I don't know how much it's gonna pump. I'm gonna start a power down. And then I realized, oh wait, like Steam since the community got fractured like a year ago, Steam is still on a four week power down cycle, but Hive is on a 13 week power down cycle. So you have your money tied up longer. You can't get your full investment back out. But with Steam, you can get it out in four weeks, which personally, I don't like that as much as what DTube went to. DTube went to like, the coins are always liquid. And like when we're on these DeFi projects, you're able to get your coins out right away. If you're staking cake, you can unstake, take your coins, convert them to something else, and peace out. And I like that uh, where you're not just kind of locked in for a long period of time. Now you can say security-wise, you know, if you had some sort of mechanism that was three or seven days, and the way the reward pool works, you know, you get paid out on something seven days after you post it. So it would make sense that maybe the staking period would be maybe at a minimum seven days. I can, I, I can understand like a, you know, a push for that kind of a thing. Uh, but regardless, people don't like to have their money kind of tied up for a long time. And um, what I've noticed on Steam in the past and on Hive is like if there is any kind of spike, you already would have had to have liquid coins or you really can't kind of enjoy the pump in the first place uh, because you're still locked up and it's it's all on paper and all that kind of stuff and you can't really get out um, and that's been very very annoying in the past um, but I think with steam and I looked at a lot of different things when the steam back dollar pumped last cycle let's say in 2017 it stayed above two hundred two dollars and fifty cents for over two months so my thinking on this and when the steam back dollar goes up people will buy steam because then you've, you're buying into having basically a money printer because then you're gonna get paid from your blogging earnings at least partially or wholly in the steam back dollar and then that steam back dollar is worth way more than a US dollar. So, um, and if you're familiar with the ecosystem that maybe makes a little more sense. So when I make a video, what I do is I post it through DTube and DTube is on Avalon chain, so I'm gonna earn DTube coins on their DTC, and then it automatically blows it out to Hive and Steam as well. And then I can earn on those chains too. Um, so I'm able to earn kind of multiple places 
with one kind of focused effort. Now, I already made a post about the play last night and I put it through Leo Finance. If I do like a written post, I do it through Leo Finance. Now, Leo Finance is interesting because it is built on the Hive blockchain, but the tokenomics are different and the power down cycle is one month opposed to the 13 weeks that um, is out on Hive. So I really like a lot of stuff they're doing. I've powered up a little bit of Leo. I'm kind of playing with it and they're coming out with some new products. Now, could I have put this much money because I bought almost, like, it was basically like 20,000 steam power and I have to get, I couldn't remove all of it from the exchange uh, because there was limitations like at tw every 24 hours. Um, but could I have done that to Leo? Could I put that much money into Leo finance? Like there wasn't, there's not really enough liquidity. A lot of it's staked up. There's not that much liquid out there and it would have pushed the price like way, way up. So it'd be very hard to make that kind of investment there. With Hive, the Hive back dollar has broken away from the dollar, but only up to like a dollar ten, up to a dollar twenty-three, kind of, kind of a thing. Steam back dollar broke clear up to eleven dollars and like sixty cents or something. So, the the situation was way different. And then, um, you know, even in these kind of like tough days where the market was down steam was like surging forward and when i saw i wasn't even going to go as deep as i went when i decided hey i'm gonna buy some and i was like well what my vote be at this if this um at this different power level and all this kind of, you know all this kind of stuff and then um when i saw how thin the sell orders were out on some of the exchanges during the day that was down i was like whoa okay this thing can fly um so it just really feels like deja vu now the weird thing is in 2017 when that happened there was a ton of excitement a ton of bloggers on the platform now it's a little bit more of a ghost town and like yeah there's people we're still out there kind of posting and kind of upvoting each other's stuff showing a little bit of support but there seems to be more activity kind of from the group of followers and the group of kind of friends that I had on Steam back in the day that are now more on Hive. But the South Koreans mainly stayed, for what it seems, they stayed out on Steam. And the Steam back dollar pump seems to have came from South Korea. So um, they don't mess around. They like crypto. And I think that, I think that there's a chance for, obviously, people kind of showing back up to Steam. And then if Steam hits the first page of coin market cap, it's gonna end up on new people's radar who maybe previously didn't know about Steam, didn't know about Hive, and they didn't live through all the drama of this like war that happened like a year ago where the, the communities got fractured. So, you know, all that kind of is out of the equation. Um, so in my mind, it's a, it's a kind of a medium term play uh, now and maybe it'll kind of keep me making more videos and and pumping a little bit more content um, I've been a little bit more hunkered down and kind of figuring out stuff with the Binance smart chain figuring out different stuff um, Looking at different projects and stuff and sometimes it doesn't make sense for me to make a video or uh, Do that kind of thing because a lot of times I don't get that many views. So That's um, that's the thing, you know again we know the situation and, and I would like to post more. And that's why sometimes I even kind of maybe just do the little, uh, little story post, you know, on YouTube or, uh, do this and that, but it's a little bit hard for me to kind of pump a video or two videos each day, uh, like I would like to. Uh, and that's why sometimes I do it while I'm driving, uh, because it's a little bit more to kind of set up and, you know, do it through OBS and, kind of have a setup on my computer um, even though visually that is maybe a better experience and you can kind of visualize kind of more of what's going on but anyway if you're um you know if you haven't been thinking about steam and high for a while maybe take a second look at it look at the steam back dollar and look at the pump that it has basically incurred and you know know that people are gonna chase and buy steam to earn that steam back dollar and um, that could be profitable. Might be something we want, might want to look into. But anyway, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. 
and follow me on all social media at Brian Phobos, YouTube, Instagram, Steam it, Library, DTube, everywhere. See ya.